Low-dose CT screening has led to decreased mortality from lung cancer. Peripheral sampling will prove necessary in some cases. The decision for sampling is made on the basis of multidisciplinary discussion incorporating risk assessment models. Among other factors, morphological features detected on a C-scan and changes in a lesion upon surveillance can be decisive. For example, growth or a change in morphology from pure ground glass opacity to part solid can prompt the sampling decision. In some geographic regions, the likelihood of a solid nodule harboring a malignancy may be higher than in others. To date, no absolute standard of management exists and biopsy decisions should be made by a multidisciplinary team. The contraindications for bronchoscopic sampling include exacerbated asthma or exacerbated chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, abnormal coagulation parameters, the use of clopidogrel or other novel oral anticoagulants, increased pulmonary artery pressure, or reduced diffusing capacity or forced vital capacity. Retrospective studies possibly show a trend towards more insignificant bleeding in patients on aspirin, which is thus regarded as a relative contraindication. Different bronchoscopic tools for peripheral sampling are available. These include brush, needle, forceps, bronchoalveolar lavage, and flexible cryoprobes. For cryobiopsy, a safety profile comparable to that for forceps was demonstrated in large multi-center cohort studies. The diagnostic yield was reported to be as high as 91%. Successful sampling, even when the cryoprobe was positioned eccentrically, contributes to this high diagnostic yield. Lesions with a positive bronchus sign on CAT scan were associated with higher likelihood of a diagnostic sample. Sample size and quality have been reported to deliver a large amount of tissue eligible for molecular target testing. To set up the cryoprobe for the procedure, the Urbe Cryo 2 is switched on. The gas bottle is opened. The gas pressure can be checked by clicking on the info button. It should be between 56 and 65 bar to obtain optimal freezing performance using the 1.1 millimeter flexible single-use cryoprobe. A room temperature below 18 degrees Celsius can result in decreased bottle pressure and compromise the freezing performance. Therefore, take care to store the unit in an environment with adequate room temperature. The cryo probe is connected and automatically recognized by the Urbe Cryo 2. For sampling, the count up and beep function helps the bronchoscopist obtain acoustic feedback for each second of freezing. The activation time is displayed in real time. A freezing test conducted in water before the procedure helps to ensure the probe is not damaged. Make sure that no bubbles form at the tip of the probe upon activation.